In this video, I'm going to go over the last menu in Penta, which is the Help menu. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below, as I usually do, that shows you for more information about uh, this particular menu. There, now, there's not a lot to the menu, uh, and I was debating about whether to make a video for it, but I decided to add some additional resources at the bottom. So if you would like to look at the additional resources I do have some here at the bottom and I won't spend a lot of time going through them because some of them are YouTube videos and I don't want to have my YouTube video showing a video of others so I do have some additional resources at the bottom now before I get started with showing you the help menu I go through and break down each of the sections in the help menu and a little description of those but as you can see in on my website uh, like all my other videos I don't use a dark theme I use the default theme here in this video I will use the dark theme and because my next video I will show you how to uh, upgrade from 1.6 to the daily build of 1.7 and I'll show you some the complications that it has with the dark theme now let's get started with the help menu when you click on the help menu there's only four different sections within the help menu or four different uh, clickable commands within the help menu. The first one takes you to the Penta website. So when you click onto it, it brings up your default browser and it brings you immediately to the, the Penta website, allowing you to download. So if you click the download button, it lets you choose whether you're using Ubuntu, the daily builds, and this is for you if you want to update to version 1.7. I'm not sure if the repository or, or if the PPAs work but I will show you in the next video how you can get it installed on your system and they do have uh, links on how to ex install there's the zip file that if you want to uh, download and extract it uh, you've got it for Windows so if you're using a Windows system you can click here and install the executable file and install uh, 1.6 on your system now I'm using uh, Ubuntu so I don't need that I'll delete it and then I'll close this out but you immediately the time you click it starts downloading uh, there's the source code if you have a Mac you can install it from here open BDS now here's the developmental builds for Windows if you want to start install the developmental builds or the daily builds it's 1.7 and that's if you're on a Windows system and there's the zip file for this now that's the website you can go through and look at bugs you can click on this and uh, look at suggestions. Now it does take you to a different website when you click the bugs. So it's not like you can click across the tabs. So I'll hit the back buttons. Here's the suggestions. And as you can see, it takes you to a different website as well. And here's your questions that you can ask. The suggestions is uh, suggesting to the creators on how to uh, maybe add additional features but this has not been updated in several years and here's some discussions and how to contact so this is the actual Penta website I'll close this down go back to the help menu if you having trouble with the program you can file a bug report and that was actually within the main menu where you can file a bug report as you can see here uh, there are people that are filing bug reports there's some that are media uh, medium reports some are high uh, so if you have problems that you run into you can file a bug report through the program the next one is translating the application so if you would like to translate this to a different language you could take it to translations launchpad uh, .net .penta. and as you can see here here's the Spanish status and it's green which means it has been uh, translated you can click on these links here to see what languages are available for Penta now I'm using the English language which is the language by default and the last thing is the about now a lot of people overlook a lot of the about features it shows you what versions the license and the copyright but here's the, kind of what I consider the important part of the about when you scroll through it as you can see here it has some of the add-ins like the ASCII art that it has installed but if you scroll down through here it shows you the files that are installed for the programs and if you look it shows you what versions they are so this may be something you would like to, to scroll down and take a screenshot of so in the future if you're having trouble like uh, I did update one day the mono and Penta would not work so I had to go back and luckily I had a screenshot of it that Mono was using 4.0 and I think the newest version of Mono is 6.0 point something and I thought well let me update my Mono and see if it will fix some of the crashing issues 
and it didn't it wouldn't even open so I had to uninstall mono and go back to the version which is the default version because this program hasn't been updated in a while so it uses the older version of mono so this is a great little uh, thing to look at to see what versions work in here now there could be some particular add-ins and some particular files that could be updated that may fix uh, issues if it's crashing on your system now up here these are some of the people that worked with the program uh, that you can see here uh, uh, the contributors for the Penta program now that's all the information here within the help menu it's very short so I'm going to close this out now on my website I do provide some additional resources like the questions link the Penta on the website uh, the best photo editor for people that talk about uh, this is one that you can this is actually a, pr a program you can purchase here they show in Penta and explaining some of the parts are the features of Penta. Uh, it's talking about videos matching Penta drawing editing program. And I'll click on this one very quickly. The YouTube videos I won't click on, uh, but if you click here, it shows you some of the things about Penta. It's kind of like a collects a lot of Penta websites. Uh, if you scroll down through it, there's a lot of good websites that you can choose related to Penta. Now here is uh, the Penta pro uh, project saving and loading your settings. And here's one like someone drawing a portrait of themselves. I'll start it and then stop it because I don't want to get get in trouble. As you can see, that if this individual draws himself a portrait of himself using the artistic uh, parts of or tools of Penta, I've mainly been showing using Penta to edit images. It's not just an image editor. It's also you can allow you to create your own artwork. And so that was making a portrait of himself. Now here's someone took a picture of themselves like a scanned image they took like a scanned image and they went through and changed their scanned image to a cartoon so that's using like from a, a picture and they took the scanned picture and made themselves into an art a creative artwork so I do have additional resources for those of you that are very artistic and would like to use Penta to create artwork I do have some additional resources that show you uh, how to do that or not necessarily how to do it but show you how other people create artwork by using Penta now this is a very short video like I said there's only uh, four, dis four different click on sections within the help menu hopefully this video has been helpful to you not just this video but all the videos that I've created on the menus of Penta this is the very last menu of Penta in my next video on Penta I will show you how to upgrade from 1.6 the stable version to 1.7 the daily bill hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day